Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Jen, and I'm going to finish up decorating this cover. The first thing I did was I took the strings out that I originally had this tied closed with, and I found this wired organza ribbon. And I'm just gonna poke the wire right out the end a little bit, get my flat nose pliers and pull those wires out. And then I will get this tie put into the eyelets uh, where I can tie it closed. And this is what it looks like now. I'm going to um, take some of this ticking that I rescued. Um, this is authentic ticking. It was a pillow and um, part of the pillow was ruined. So I took it apart, took, threw the stuffing away and kept and washed the fabric. And now I have it for crafting. So I'm going to take this ticking and I'm going to layer it up um, on that top right corner. And I want to put that darker blue button in the center of it. And I decided it was a little too wide. So I took the two little squares and I'm going to cut them into rectangles. Fray the edges. And then I mess with this for a little bit until I get it how I want it. In the end, I ended up using only three of the little strips, and then I got my blue thread and unspooled some of that so that I can make a little nest for that dark blue button to be glued down onto. So I grabbed the wrong glue. There's no way I would trust tacky glue to hold a button on. Um, I have not plugged in my hot glue gun and I'm frantically looking for my Fabri-Tac, uh, which I don't find at the time. It's completely and totally right in front of my face in the jar that my camera sits in. So in the meantime, I'm going to go and work on another part of the book while my hot glue gun heats up. So I glued down my ticking pieces with some Eileen's.
I'm digging in my stash for another piece of lace or trim. Found another piece of Crafty Me Shop lace. And I'm gonna glue it across the top of that light blue crocheted trim that I put there. I just felt like it needed a little bit something more. Okay, so my hot glue gun's hot, and I'm going to get this button, the dark blue button, glued down on the top right. Get it pressed in really, really well. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece that I fussy cut out of one of the pages from the kit that says Christmas. And I did back this onto some cardstock so that it was a little bit thicker. And I'm going to get that glued to the top left side. And it did warp a little bit while it was drying. So I'm just going to take my fingers and kind of curl it backwards so that it dries flat when I glue it down and it doesn't have um, those little tiny fussy cut edges sticking up to get caught on things. So I'm using a shop towel just to clean up the glue from where I kind of moved it around a little bit. And then I hot glue this little bow that I made out of satin ribbon to the center of the bottom of the photo. And I'm still a little bit aggravated with those tails. Um, so I push in the center uh, while the glue is still war warm. And it pulled them in a little bit more. And then later on, I do end up hot gluing those tails down just a little bit. Right um, as close as I could get to the knot in the bow, I put a little bit of hot glue and stuck those tails down. And then right here, I'm putting a pretty dimensional button on. It's pretty thick and it's rounded on the back. So I cut a little bit of that lace out just to give it a cradle to sit in and it was still sitting awkward and felt like it might come off. So the trick is to cut a piece of fabric or cheesecloth and put that underneath the button and it gives it more surface to stick to. So I eventually got the button back off. The glue had just about completely cooled. And I'm um, going to put that cheesecloth behind it and get it glued down. And it does level it out really well and it feels a lot more secure. So I'm going to glue the cheesecloth on 
first just because cheesecloth and hot glue can sign it kind of become a mess so I'll glue that piece down with Eileen's tacky glue and then glue the button down with hot glue I decided that I didn't want to glue just another plain button on, so I cut a piece of crochet thread, and I'm going to thread that through two holes in the button, and then I'm going to tie it in a knot on the top, and then get that glued down, and then I have the little white button that I'm just going to glue down um, on top of another nest of blue thread. Here I'm just cutting a few of those strings just to make it a little more um, ratty looking and less curled up in a ball, the, the blue thread. And then I also had a piece of um, the original fabric that I put on the cover that was bugging me around that button. So now I'm flipping it over, shaking everything out of it, um, doubles is making sure everything's stuck good. See, there I go messing with that bow again. That's why I eventually uh, glue it down right at the very top there of the tails. I decided it needed a something a little more, and I tried some floral ribbon from Crafty Me Shop. Um, or I'm sorry, it's trim. And I wasn't digging that. And then I found this braided corded trim. Um, it's almost like a furniture trim. And that is also from my Crafty Me Shop stash. So I decided, ooh, I like that better. I like the darker color. Um, it helps balance the darker colors of the big ribbon bow on the right side. So I'm just going to 
attach this with some Eileen's tacky glue. Okay, so what I did was I took some um, fabric glue and I put quite a bit of glue on the end of there and then pressed it in and rolled it really well. Make sure your fingers are clean. That's just threads from the piece of trim. And that will stop all of that raveling. And then I cut the other end off and did the same thing to it. So this is where I've decided to stop for now. Um, I do, I'm messing with that bow again. Um, so like I said, I, I do fix that. It was very irritating. I fixed it. Um, so this is where I'm at. I have included lots of links down in the description box. Go and check those out. And I really appreciate it if you guys would like, share, subscribe, follow. Do all the social stuff. In the next video, I'll be starting in on the inside of this journal.